You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about the Chicago Bears. They made a huge move that many people are signaling a confirmation of sorts that Caleb Williams will be the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. Now, I really wonder. I mean, I, I'm not sure why exactly this is confirmation, but at least the media wants you to think it so. They are trying to wheel this draft pick so hard to the Bears. I mean, it's become clear there is an agenda to try to get this kid drafted Number one overall, by God, uh, Jalen Daniels be damned. Drake may be damned. Justin Fields be damned somewhere. Nobody knows. It's really strange. Ever since this kid took the, took the stands and started crying with his mama, the media has been on a nonstop affair with trying to defend this guy. Even though there's been one thing after another that's like smoking red flags. I'm like, is anybody paying attention? Really? So the Bears made a huge move. And you see the headline. NBC Sports Chicago sends resounding message to Caleb Williams and the NFL. That's kind of interesting, but okay. Uh Look, it's a hell of a move. I mean, it's a low-price move. There's teams out there that need wideouts. Looking at you, Patriots, a fourth-round pick to get this guy. Hmm, okay. Actions speak louder than words, and with the stunning trade for Keenan Allen on Thursday night, Bears general manager Ryan Pohl sent a clear message to his presumptive future franchise quarterback and the rest of the league. What about his current franchise quarterback what what kind of message is he supposed to get i mean it's it's wild it really is i will say this uh, the bears are rolling out one hell of a an offensive squad i don't know who's throwing them the ball and i don't know that anybody's going to be able to throw the ball to them but they've got some weapons now no doubt about it and i give i, I think ryan poles has actually done a pretty good job at least from a personnel standpoint I'd love to see a really good offensive-minded coach there, but you got Matt Eberflus, so, you know, you could have had Jim Harbaugh. I don't know. At, at the 2024 NFL Combine, USC star quarterback Caleb, Caleb Williams, Yahoo, check your spelling. Caleb Williams said he had only one thing he wanted to find out about the Poles and the Bears, before they likely select him number one overall in the NFL draft. Quote, just do you want to win, question mark. Do you want to take medicals, question mark. That would be a, a great thing to answer. The Bears will sit down with Caleb Williams at USC's Pro Day March 20th. Oh, I can't wait for that. And host him for a top 30 visit shortly after that. Williams and the Bears will get a better feel for each other over the next month. But in adding Allen, who is in the back end of his prime, Poles signaled he's willing to surround Williams with everything needed to find quick success and that the Bears are ready to win now. Again, I like the move. The Bears paid a small price to acquire Allen, sending the Chargers a 2024 fourth-round pick for the star receiver, a source confirmed to NBC Sports Chicago. The addition gives the Bears two elite wide receivers who perfectly complement each other, DJ Moore and Allen. Weapons and protection are a young quarterback's best friend. Williams now, now will have two of the best in the NFL when he arrives with Allen, Moore, tight end Cole Komet, and Gerald Everett and running backs DeAndre Smith, Rashawn Johnson, and Kali Herbert. Williams should be the selection. Will have a talented cast surrounding him. I bet Jaden Jaden Daniels would love those weapons. I bet Justin Fields is sitting back going, Really? 
You made this trade and you're getting rid of me? Let's find out what I can do with these guys. Man, you want to talk about having to worry about all these other players on the field and then whether or not your quarterback's going to rip one off for 73 yards. I'm just saying. The Bears also still own the number nine overall pick, which they could use on another elite wide receiver, a top-tier left tackle, or an edge rusher to fill a hole on the defense opposite Montez Sweat. That dude balled out once they traded for him. Allen, 31, one of the best route runners in the NFL. He's a a savvy veteran receiver with great hands who will play off of DJ Moore. I'm, I'm a big DJ Moore guy. I really am. It was one of the most baffling things that the Panthers were getting ready to take Bryce Young, and they sent his number one best friend he should have had as a rookie out the door. You had, geez, at least, look, the Bears are running a clinic on the Panthers right now and the Patriots on how to build around a quarterback. I, I got to give them credit for that. No doubt about it. Whether it's Fields, whether it's Daniels, whether it's May, whether it's Caleb Williams, they're showing what's up. In his 11-year career, Allen has amassed 10,530 yards and 59 touchdowns. He eclipsed 1,000 yards in five of his past seven seasons. Coming off this second-best season of his career, he caught 108 passes, 1,243 yards, and seven touchdowns. Allen is in the final year of his contract. The Bears will inherit around $23 million this year for the veteran. Uh, That's no big deal. A short-term extension. The salary cap will go up next year, too, another 10 to 15%. A short-term extension could be in order to lessen the cap hit and keep Allen around as part of the immediate core. The Bears appear to be building around Williams. No other names in this article. You notice that? The landing, landing the number one pick and the right to select Williams is a unique opportunity. Over the last 30 years, the Bears have been the poster child for poor quarterback development that appears to be at an end. Poles understands the rarity of the moment in the front of the Bears franchise. Williams is a special talent who can be linchpinned for a decade plus of success. Wow, okay. But the Bears must do their part to ensure he reaches the lofty potential many around the league believe is his future. Well, we'll have to see. I mean, you've got a hell of a lot of people starting to come out now saying, hey, 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 pump the brakes a little bit. Merrill Hodge, Greg Cosell. When those guys start talking about this ain't the guy, Oh, I'm getting very, my antennas are going up big time. I mean, that's concerning, very concerning. And, and, and I'll tell you, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Justin Fields. You guys know that. I'm not. But it would be interesting to see what this, that kid could do with this cast of characters around him and a lot of other quarterbacks in the league, frankly. Uh, but... I don't know. I mean, they're putting a lot, a lot of stake in this guy. I love the move. I mean, I NFL teams hold on to fourth round picks, you know, like they're crackheads, and he's the, you know, these fourth round picks are the crack. Stop it! Stop it! They're fourth round picks to f them picks. You know, I mean, you can't do it to the extent that the Rams did. They got themselves in trouble, and I get that. But it's just crazy how some of these draft picks are just just lynched upon and, and held uh, close to their bosoms. Your bosoms suck, okay? <laughs> they absolutely suck. They're a fourth-round pick. If you got to trade one to get Keenan Allen, do it. Wow. Uh, not the Carolina Panthers. They didn't make that trade. You know, not the Patriots. They didn't make that trade. You know, it, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. But I give Ryan Poles credit. You know, if he chooses wisely at quarterback, the Bears have got something. With the Vikings down, a franchise quarterback now, it's going to be the Packers. And you would 
and, and you got the Lions. It's going to be interesting. Very that that division is going to be. Are they going to be arguably the most interesting division in football? The AFC West is going to be the other other one. I think that's really interesting. Tell me what you think. Is this a resounding, clear message that the media wants you to think it is that the Bears are taking Caleb Williams? Should they take Caleb Williams? I'm telling you, I'm turning in Jaden Daniels every day of the week, twice on Sunday, if I'm the Bears. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.